This is my brand new iPhone 16 Pro Max. Well, it's a month old, but you get it. Why I switched, especially to a Pro Max? How is this phone compared to my previous iPhone 15 Pro? All of those for a separate video coming very soon. So hit that subscribe button to see that video when it comes out. But if you're following me on YouTube, you might have seen my recent video on the iPhone 15 Pro problems. One of the biggest problem that I had with my iPhone 15 Pro is how easily the display and the lens cover scratched and made my less than a year old phone look like a decade old phone. It was really disappointing. I had to put it in a case just to keep the resale value. But now with my new iPhone 16 Pro Max, I was determined to not use the phone until it had a screen protector and a good case. Based on my previous good experience with the MacBook cases, I reached out to them to see if I can check out their new Elite case series for the iPhone 16s. This was especially interesting for me because it was the screen protector and MagSafe case combo, which was exactly what I was needing. And MacBook did send this case to me to check it out. This video will be a review of the MacBook Elite case and the screen protector combo and I'll share how I have liked it so far after some extended use. Before we get into my experience itself, you should know some background. I've been using MacBook cases on my iPhone 15 Pro and I have been really happy with it. I've been personally recommending it to my friends and family and the reason for this are two things. The case itself is very premium, sturdy, the buttons are very tactile and yet very thin. I love this experience. Second, the magnets on the MacBook case are way more superior to any other case I've seen. So confident to the extent that I could stick it on my car and I would just drive off. If I'm using it on my multi-charger, the magnetic strength is so strong that it is a breeze to use it in pitch dark at night too. I simply couldn't go back to any other case and give up on this experience. So when MacBook announced they are coming up with an Elite series for the iPhone 16, I was pumped and going in with all those previous expectations and now I have used it for a while now and still have same excitement for the most part at least. Let me get the not so great part out of the way first because that's the smaller part and there are a lot of good things to talk about later. The price. The Elite case which I have here costs $80. That is not cheap at all. It does come with a very good screen protector, a mechanism to install it, more features and quality is premium but $80 is too steep in my opinion. But that's it. That's the only downside. The upsides, they are a plenty. This is a very durable, super strong telescoping MagSafe grip case with kickstand, with corner protection and an integrated finger loop. With such a feature set, you would think that this case is going to be bulky and hefty like those armor cases. So did I. But in my hands, they feel almost the same as any thin case in the market. They are not bulky at all. It does come with all the benefits to be known from the MacBook company. The cutouts are super precise, including the new one for the camera control button on the side. The buttons are super tactile and comfortable to press, especially the action button. The camera border is also slightly raised to protect the lens cover from scratches, which was a very common problem for me on my previous phone, despite the cover was made from sapphire. The sides have grippy silicon ridges which makes the phone confident to hold despite the iPhone 16 Pro Max being a 6.9 inch super large phone. There is also an integrated finger loop at the back. I like how MacBook has implemented this. It's flat and out of the way normally but when you need it without even using another hand I can easily extend the finger loop. Again for such a large 6.9 inch Pro Max phone especially for me with small hands I did not know that the finger loop will be this easy to use. The reason why I have not used a finger loop case so far is just one thing, wireless MagSafe charging. If there is a protrusion in the place of wireless charging coil, it doesn't charge. But MacBook has implemented this in such a thin way despite having the finger loop. The phone charges perfectly in all wireless chargers. This just shows how thin the case and the finger loop actually is. Another benefit of the Elite case, you get the option to customize it even more with the color sets. The camera border, the finger grip, finger loop and even the buttons can be swapped with different colored sets to customize it even more. I have the pink color set but my preference is the grey and black combo. Despite being this thin, they have also integrated a kickstand. It's towards the top of the phone which can easily be extended. It gives me a perfect angle for landscape orientation and an okayish angle for portrait orientation. Honestly, I prefer a landscape kickstand over a portrait kickstand which is not stable enough at all. This is perfect for me to watch 
some videos while I cook. The kickstand is also held in a place by small magnets rather than plastic friction. This will be more durable than plastic locking kickstands. I'm seeing keen attention to quality and details everywhere. Another feature which Magback is known for, it's super strong MagSafe magnets. Magback has leveled up their magnets game in this elite case for sure. You see, previous cases have integrated strong magnets in the case which is super strong if they have good connection, like on wireless chargers, car chargers, etc. But if you're sticking it to a flat surface because of the camera bump, the magnets do not get good contact with the metal. With this elite case, the magnets are protruding when needed. Magback calls it telescoping magnets. The magnets stick out a bit when needed for better contact and go back inside when not needed. You see, this is an ingenious solution, which we never asked for. I feel the magnetic strength on the Elite case with a Magback charger is slightly lower compared to the classic ones, which does not have the finger loop. With chargers, there is already good contact and finger loop slightly reduces the force, at least in my assumption. But still way better than a traditional MagSafe case for sure. But compared to the classic case, I feel the Elite case is slightly less sticky to a Magback charger. But on a flat surface like on a refrigerator or a car where the magnet might not have a good contact, it sticks firmly. My personal opinion, they could have skipped the telescoping magnets and reduced the price a bit or simply given a stronger regular magnets. But if that's your jam, who sticks your phone to flat surfaces, Elite case got you covered. Okay, one last thing I want to talk about. The Elite case comes with a screen protector included in the price. Magbag says the case has cutouts for the screen protector to make it look seamless and collect less dust. All that is true, but I simply love the quality of the screen protector. After I installed it, I showed it to my husband and he could not identify if there was a screen protector installed. It was that precise and good. There was no gap, no reduction in clarity of the screen. It was like nothing is on the screen. Great quality and added bonus, the screen protector comes in a box which also doubles as a screen protector installer for easy installation. I just had to place my phone in the box, close the box and peel the sticker off. The screen protector was installed perfectly, no gaps, no redos. Magback has a covering for the USB-C port as well, calls it pinky pillow, but it's not something I was impressed with to be honest, but it does keep my USB-C port clean and dust free. So overall, it's a plus. What's my overall take? Premium quality protective case, super thin, finger loop, kickstand, curved edges, strong MagSafe, wireless charging support, grippy edges, super premium screen protector with easy installation, all huge advantage for this case. I've not found any other case with these feature set, so well implemented to be honest. Pinky pillow USB cover and tele scoping magnets are neutral for me. I won't miss it if I had to go with the classic case. Price definitely can be better priced. If you don't mind the finger loop and the kickstand, the classic case offers the same premium thin case with strong magnets, now with screen protector and with easy install for $20 cheaper. That is a much better value. But either way, classic case or elite case, you're getting a very premium case and screen protector to protect a very expensive phone. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also like and share if you enjoyed the video and also watch out for my long-term review on the iphone 16 pro max i'll see you all in the next one this is anjana bye bye